since Doris has yet to still update, today I'm gonna be taking things into my own hands. And today, I'm gonna be making my own version of Roblox Doors. Uh... So make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and by the end of this video, comment down below how well my doors was made, you know? I'll make sure to link it down below too, so you guys can play it yourselves. Alright, and first step into creating our doors game is that we gotta go ahead and get the place started. So I think we're gonna start out on the classic base plate, okay? And then now that we're in, I'm gonna go ahead and load in a little noob avatar right here, so we can get some good aspect ratios to everything we're building, and then go ahead and put down a little block right here because you know starting out we just got to go ahead and get the base of what we're creating so i'm gonna go ahead and extend this out over here did it out over here down here too okay and then as always with doors you know everything's made out of that dark wood so we're gonna go ahead and make this a little dark wood texture okay there we go and then you know i'm gonna go ahead and start building up the walls you know one wall over here another wall over here also go ahead and start bringing this wall over here but we also need to leave like a little open area for a door so Actually, let's go ahead and search up a door. Okay. Ooh, we got boxes from doors floor two. We got seek right there. Okay. And then, ooh, what is this one? Automatic opening door. Oh, this looks like one of the doors straight from doors. Okay, we'll have this right here. Go ahead and move it up a bit. All right, boom, there we go. And then go ahead and connect this wall to the door as well. And then go ahead and finish off this wall over here. And then what I think I want to go ahead and do is actually start building up the walls. But instead of the walls being all wood i want to actually make it like red and then go ahead and make it into a nice little texture we can have for the walls how about like sand like it's like the wallpaper you know from doors go ahead and bring this over here as well okay oh no this is already starting to look a little bit wonky okay like, can i make this like a deeper red like a like a darker red because the wall should not be that vibrant and then also speaking of doors they do have those windows in each room so if we search like a window okay well it's showing me the window monster from doors okay what the heck oh there's a the actual doors window okay hold up wait what oh my god we can have the actual doors windows in here okay say less let me go ahead and put one over here and then also have a few over here as well okay i'm starting to notice that the wood on those windows is a bit darker than the wood we're using on our build so can i actually go ahead and match that brown can i make it like more dull is there even a brown for that okay ooh, this one works Ooh, we gotta fill in the space between these windows and whatnot okay Okay, so, so far, our little entrance lobby area here is looking pretty nice. Woohoo! Okay, wait, can I get, like, elevator door since we're spawning into the initial entrance lobby? Ooh, there's, like, a little elevator door here. Okay, wait. Okay, boom, there we go. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this area over here so we can start building in the little entrance desk. And then build this over here as well. And then what I think I want to do, since this is going to be my own little doors game, is that I'm actually going to go ahead and spawn in my character to be standing okay why am i committee toilet oh no okay there's my little character let me put him over here and then also let me search like a bell for the counter because you know we love dinging the bell we need to ding the bell there's the bell for us to ding and then what i think we also should start doing is putting in like drawers for where we'll find the gold and whatnot so ooh, there's this nice little drawer over here okay bet go ahead and put one right here as well you can also get like this little table here as well okay and there's also like that red couch for some reason that be chilling inside a door. So, okay, this one is a little too big. Okay, well, I mean, there's this one, which looks a little bit fancier. Okay, we'll have that there. And then another couch over here. Put in the roof. We'll go ahead and make that the deep brown color again. Okay, and now we need some lighting in here. Okay, we can get rid of our little reference avatar. Was there like a chandelier? Okay, yes. Can we get a chandelier in here for lighting? Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's go ahead and put this up into the ceiling and then can we also get some like wall lights in here just those little those little wall lights that we have from doors okay there's this but it doesn't emit any light okay well it kind of does but like barely any uh, can i turn up the brightness can i amp that up okay way better and then what i think i'm gonna do because of how big our couch is over here is that i'm gonna have to move this door over a little bit okay oh it needs to be moved a little bit more oh no okay boom there we go and oh so far boys our little doors in Entrance lobby area is looking clean. Okay, and then let me go ahead and spawn in a spawn point that I'll go ahead and put under the ground right here. So we'll spawn here. All right, and then let's go ahead and test our game so far. Okay, does everything work? Nothing falls apart. 
Nothing. Okay, well, our wall just fell over. Okay, all the walls are falling over, but, you know, I think that's easily fixable. Let me just go ahead and grab all these parts. Everything chilling now? Okay. Oh, and we can ring the bell. Ding, ding. Okay, you know what, boys? I think our doors game is looking pretty good so far. And if you agree, make sure to smash that like button right now. Okay, and now that we have the little lobby area created, I think it's time for us to start creating all the 100 rooms we gotta go through. And, oh, no, this is about to suck. Okay, okay, but what I think I can easily do is actually grab the ground and just everything that we've created so far and then go ahead and duplicate it and move it all the way over here. And boom, look at that. We already got the structure for one of the rooms down already. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, copy and paste a few more lights for a little bit more lighting inside of here because it is super dark and creepy. And then go ahead and grab these drawers again. And then I can just quick select everything that's inside of this this room and then now that i have everything from this room selected i can go ahead and group it together and then i can just start copying and pasting it over and over again okay and now that we have five rooms in a row right here i can go ahead and duplicate those so then we will now have 10 in a row i can group that and then duplicate it again and then if i select this now we'll have 20 in a row and then duplicate it again so now we have 40 in a row this is how you easily get a hundred rooms you just copy and paste over and over and man there are a lot of balls in the sequence okay oh my god look at all these balls boys Ooh. and now we have 100 different rooms in all of this i think it's time to start adding in some monsters oh and i just realized i forgot to put any of the closets in here so uh can i search a closet real quick okay ooh, working doors closet okay hold on hold on no way this is an actual working doors closet let me put that right there okay wait do the doors even work okay oh the doors do work. And there's a closet right here. Okay. Oh, we can hide in the closet too. Oh, so the closets work too. Okay, bet. I'm gonna go ahead and make my doors more difficult. Okay, only some rooms are gonna have closets. Because inside of doors, basically every room has a closet, but nah, not inside of my doors. Not inside of my doors. Okay, boom. I have now added closets into almost every room. You know, some rooms got some closets, some don't, okay? And now, boys, we can finally start adding in our monsters. So, you know, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make it easy for you guys you know you start off in my game you know not really much happening in the first few rooms and whatnot but then in this first room i think i want to go ahead and add in a rush you know keeping it basic keeping it to the door's lore and whatnot okay we got rushy boys just you know chilling inside here and whatnot okay oh look at him he, he's grinning he's waiting to meet you guys in my game yes sir yes sir and then we're gonna go down a few more doors and then immediately you gotta deal with ambush okay we're gonna add in oh my god titan Panic ambush? Bro, that's huge. Okay, I think that ambush was a little too big. I'm not gonna lie. Where, where's a normal ambush? Oh, we got a uh, 3D ambush. Oh my god. Yeah, we're gonna have 3D ambush just chill inside here. Yeah. We're gonna make him a bit bigger too. He's gonna be giant. And then, you know, you're gonna go down a few more doors here and there. And then you gotta deal with it. Jeff the Killer. Add in this dude now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then once you're done dealing with Jeff the Killer, you know, we're gonna go down a few more doors and then we're gonna add in this big purple dude right here okay ooh, that one is ugly how about this one is this one better oh my god bro is that grimace is a rainbow friend what the okay yeah this is gonna be our grimace and we're gonna have the grimace shake just chill in the back here on the little table as well too yeah and then you know go down a few more doors you know thinking you're all safe and chilling but then boom there's gonna be a giant screech just chilling wait in the massacre you and bite your head off and then you know after dealing with Screech, a few more doors of, you know, safety and chilling and whatnot. But then we're gonna start adding in some of these boys popping up on the walls. You know, just a few here and there inside of this area. And then to the next room, you know, we're gonna amp it up a bit. You know, a few more Seek Eyes here and there. Some here and there on this wall. A bit more on these walls. Some over here as well. And then for the third room, it's just gonna be a bunch of Seek Eyes. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just gonna spam Seek Eyes all about, all around the room. Room. Okay, I think I put enough seek eyes in this room. And then, you know, for the next room for the seek chase, you know, I could have, you know, built a long hallway, but uh, I'm too lazy for that. So I'm just gonna search seek and you gotta deal with him in the super tiny room, okay? He's just gonna be chilling in here, you know? He's just gonna get you right after. He's, he's just on standby waiting. And then, you know, after beating seek chase, he'll go through a few more doors of, you know, safety. And then, boom! There's gonna be scabitty toilet waiting on you. Why does this one look like a little a charming guy? Oh my god, when you move it, his face looks terrifying. 
thing. Uh -huh. And then after you do with this skibidi toilet, you know, you go through another room and then there'll be another skibidi toilet. Except this skibidi toilet's gonna have little noob skibidi minions. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then, you know, we'll go through a few more rooms of safety and tranquility. You know, we'll put another skibidi toilet because why not? Skibidi bop bop bop. Skibidi bop bop. Yes, yes. And then, you know, I think by now we're probably around door 50. So, you know, I gotta go ahead, search up figure. You know, we'll put figure inside here and whatnot. You know, just have them chilling inside like the 50th room. You know, we'll just move them to one room over just to be safe. And then after you get past figures room, of course, we have the one empty room. And then in this room, you know, we'll put El Goblino in here. You know, we'll have a little Bob the Skeleton guy too. Except uh, this one's a little bit more... Uh, wacky wonky i'd like to say oh we can also get jeff from jeff shop okay hold up oh wait it's like the whole room oh my god okay i can't steal doors assets no i guess we will not be having jeff in my game boys he's too big his dump truck is too big and then we'll go ahead down a few more doors what are some other horror characters we can add in like huggy wuggy yeah we'll just have huggy wuggy chilling because why not hold up okay mommy long legs in this room but then a few rooms before her is huggy wuggy. okay okay and then continue you down a few more rooms. Can we get spring trap in here, boys? Oh my god, we got spring trap in here. No freaking way. And then go down a few more rooms. We'll add in Freddy Fazbear here. Add in Bonnie in the next room over. Go down a few more rooms. Oh my god, how close are we getting to the end? Okay, not close at all. Oh my god. You know, we'll put Toy Bonnie too, just for the memes. Oh my god, there's so many more rooms to go. Why is there so many more? Okay, wait, I think we're in like the last of 60 doors though. Okay, let's see what else can we add what else can we add okay i'm not gonna lie boys i think i made my doors just a little a little too long okay we're just gonna delete this section we're gonna also gonna delete this section you know what screw the 100 doors we don't need to go through 100 doors okay okay so then uh, toy bonnie is here and then literally a few more doors down is literally the end what i think for our final monster that we should have in the final room before we beat the game is roretto the worst monster of them all look how terrifying and ooh. We'll peep out those shoulder pals he's got going on. Ooh, you know, if you want to go ahead and grab yourself one, link down below in the description in my group shop. All right, and now that we have literally everything in each room, it's time to go ahead and test our doors game. Okay, oh my god. Oh my god, Rush is already pulling up. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. Just gonna get past you. Okay, oh my god. It's literally so eerie inside of my game. Woohoo! Sooner or later, we're gonna come across the ambush, right? Or is ambush not gonna spawn in? Oh god. Oh, I can see the light of ambush. Hey, ambush. Okay, and then keep going. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's already Jeff. It's Jeff already. Oh, oh, he killed me. Jeff killed me. Okay, and Rush is already trying to get me in the lobby. Okay, see you later, buddy. Okay, how am I gonna get past that Jeff, though? How am I gonna get past Jeff? Oh, God. Okay, maybe I can, like, juke him out. Okay, there he is right there. He can, like, see me through the wall. Okay, he's right there. So, like, what if I just... Ugh. Okay, no, he's he's too quick. He's too quick with it. No! <laughs> okay, man, Jeff is making this a lot harder than it should be. Bro, he's literally just standing there at the door waiting for me. Okay, you know what, Jeff? You're gonna you're gonna get killed, okay? You're out of the game. You're making my test play difficult. I'm gonna let you guys deal with Jeff on your own when you play this game. Okay, but what's next? What monster is next? Okay. Oh my god, Grimace is not doing too good. His eyeballs fell out. Okay, and then what's next? What's next? Okay, oh, giant screech. Okay. And then I think after giant screech, the door dies. <laughs> okay, you know what, boys? I'm not gonna spoil too much on how amazing this game is, okay? If you guys want to test it out, it will be linked down below. And with that being said, make sure to smash that like button, hit subscribe, and comment down below if you want me to make my own version of Doors Floor 2 or my own version of the rooms level.